what is going on guys and welcome to html tutorial in this video we're going to talk about a very interesting element in html and it is called iframe element and what iframe element is is that it's basically like a little frame that actually links your website to let's say a different website or the different page in your own website or uh, image or most popular it's actually used to display a google maps on your website so let's go ahead and let's create a iframe element and the way we would do that we would have to create a iframe element over here and the name and self-explanatory would be iframe over here so i just click over here and we would have to use a source attribute and the source attribute would basically tell the browser where to look for our iframe element and in this case i'm going to create an external source and it's going to be espn so i would have to type over here the http and over here i would create uh, espn.com and i'm going to close it over here the iframe and you can see that i have espn over here now the thing is my iframe is uh, pr pretty much automatically set by default but i can use two more attributes to control the width and the height the same as with the image so here i would say width let's say and i would say that i would want width to be 300 pixels and i would want my height to be let's say 300 pixels right so you can see all of a sudden how it's changing and if i just make this uh, website a little bit bigger that i'm working with an index over here you can see uh, that my iframe is getting bigger or smaller depending on how i would uh, change the width and the height of my iframe now I, we could also link to the pages within our own document so let's say you can see over here that uh, info page that we created and i'm just going to create a uh, live preview over here to see that uh, you can see over here that this is our info page you can see the name over here and I'm actually going to zoom in so you can see that this is our info page and this is our index page right where we have the ESPN but if we go back to our index over here and let's say I'm going to change the source uh, I'm going to change it from the ESPN I'm going to change it actually to info and if I write over here the bracket gives me right away code hints over here so uh, if I just save this and refresh over here now you can see that I am in my index page, right? You can see I'm going to zoom in here. However, the iframe is actually pointing to the different uh, web page within my own page. That, that is actually the, the info page. Now, I could also uh, use the iframe to actually uh, connect it to the images that I have over here in my image folder. So let's say I would write the source over here. Instead of info, I'm going to write a... Uh, images that's the folder that my images are located and now I have two options those are the two images that I have downloaded right so let's say that I want Kevin Hart over here so I'm just gonna save this over here and I'm gonna refresh and you can see that uh, now my iframe is displaying a image that's actually located in my images folder now another cool thing that we could do with iframes we could actually use links to point to our iframe and actually display whatever the location of our links are so let's say over here that i have iframe over here that is actually pointing to the picture but i'm going to get rid of this source over here so it's just going to be empty and it's going to be as you can see the width is going to be 300 and the height is still going to be 300 and you can see in our live preview that the iframe is still here however there is no source so that's why it's blank right and what I'm going to do over here, I'm going to create a name over here for this iframe. And I'm just going to name it frame over here, right? So I have an iframe, it's blank, but it has a name. And over here, I'm going to start creating links. And the first link I'm going to create is actually going to go again to ESPN. So I'm going to say HTTP. And it's going to be not with three Ps, so I would have to fix it over here. And... I'm going to write ESPN over here.com. And in here, I'm going to use another a attribute, and it's going to be target attribute. And the target attribute, I'm going to write the same name that I give in the iframe. So you can see that I given the attribute name, I gave the value of frame. So right now, when I'm doing the target, when I'm writing the target, 
attribute, I would need to use the same value that I gave it the name. So I'm going to write the frame over here and I'm going to create a ESPN over here. So now you can see the link. And usually in, in any case before that, when we created the links, they were actually going externally. So let's go ahead and see what happens now that we have created a link that actually has the target attribute over here and it's linking to our iframe, right? So now I'm just going to save this file over here and I'm just going to click at refresh over here. And you can see as I press over here on a link, actually the ESPN is loading here in my iframe. So I didn't have to point it with the source. I could actually do it with the link. And the cool thing about it is that I could, let's say, create a another link over here. I'm just going to create a light line break before that. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this the whole thing over here. And now I have two links and I'm going to create a one more over here. So I'm just going to say I'm going to I'm going to select this and I'm just going to copy that. So now you can see that no, oh, just I deleted, but I'm going to copy it again. And now you can see that I have three links. All of them are pointing to ESPN. So we're going to fix that over here. So what I'm going to do is this uh, location href, I'm going to change it to, let's say, info page that we did before. So now I have href over here, info, HTML. But you can see that I'm still using the target and the target is still the frame which is the name of my attribute over here. So over here, I'm going to create a different name. I'm going to say that this is going to be the info page. And the last thing that we're going to do is we're going to actually create a image over here. And the, our link is going to be to uh, the image. And I'm going to say that the image is going to be funny. Or let's say Kevin Hart. And over here, I'm going to use the href to point to my image over here. So I'm going to say images over here, and then I'm going to find my uh, picture with Kevin Hart. Okay, so I'm going to save this over here. And now you can see what happens when I refresh it over here. You can see that I have it blank, but as I'm pressing, now I have the ESPN, then I have the info page, and then I have Kevin Hart over here. And you can also notice here that my page is not reloading as I'm doing this. So when I'm pressing over here, the ESPN, that it's not opening the new page. It's, it's still working over here. And the same thing happens when if I have info page or Kevin Hart over here. So what's happening is that you don't need to reload your page in order to use the iframe. You can, it's, it's actually doing while you're still on your page. So it saves the time for whoever is visiting your web page uh, that the page is not downloading twice, right? So the last thing that we're going to do is we're actually going to create a Google Maps in our iframe. So I'm just going to delete it over here, everything all together. So now you can see that I have a blank page. And I'm going to show you that let's say that if you would be creating a page for um, let's say some kind some type of business and you would want to use the Google Maps to actually point to that web page, right? To actually to point to that location. So I would go over here, I would open up the web browser and I have Google over here by default. So I'm just going to write maps and you can see over here that the Google Maps, we were going to open the Google Maps. And what we would need to do is we would need to write the, the name of our business that we would want to point at our, or the address or anything, anything of that sort. So in this case, I'm going to type the business and you can see that this is going to be a very good steak, uh, steakhouse in Chicago. And this is going to be Tango Sir. So now you can see that, uh, the web page or I'm sorry, that uh, Google Maps is pointing to the business. What we can do is over here, you can see that share, we just click share, and we have share link, or we, sh we have embed map. And once we click on embed map, we can see that uh, iframe is given already for us, right? So all we have to do is actually copy this one over here, and then we go back to our text editor, and all we have to do is actually paste this over here. And now you can see that our iframe is already made for us. But you can see that it has already default height and width. And what I'm going to do over here is I'm just going to uh, make it to 300. 
and this one is also going to be 300. So now you can see that if I just make this live preview bigger, you can see how we have a uh, map, a Google map on our website using the iframe element. And I, what I can do is I can always uh, zoom in or zoom out over here using the iframe and using the Google Maps. So you can see how it, it is a very, very neat feature. Uh, this is going to be it for this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.